So it's either going to be video or it's going to be audio. That's kind of the deal tonight. And we choose video because we want you to see our beautiful faces, even if you can't hear us real well. I'm going to pull my dick out. Nope, he's not. Because that's how we get kicked off of Twitch, along with some of the other shit that you say on a regular basis. Here we go. And welcome to the Funky Panther Podcast, coming to you from Fort Worth, Texas. We've got the worst episode for you today, <laughs> but really excited to actually be here finally. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's get into it. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. And I'm Tim. And we are the, the Funky, Funky Panther! Panther! Woo! What a close your fuck. Love you guys. Yeah, so this this got off to an awful start. It sure did. Uh, we were we were going to try to start this up about 40 minutes ago, I think, at this point. It says 30, 30 okay, minutes thir- ago. 30 minutes yeah. ago. And uh, here we are. Here we are bringing the people both video on Twitch and audio for all of you out on the podcast. So, Albeit horrible audio, well, but audio nonetheless. At least they can hear us. They can they can at least hear us on there now. So yeah, um, it's not great, but but they can hear us. Um, so it's just like Tim. It's not great, <laughs> but it's there. It'll do. Yeah, I'm mediocre at best. <laughs> hey hey hey, fuck off. That's my saying, sir. Uh, that's my saying. Hey yeah, well. hey, just to let you know, we have someone saying that Javier makes them moist. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> means a lot. <laughs> means a lot. Huh. That's weird, but you know. Yeah. Fuck it. Hey, uh, how are you guys doing? Man, so good. I feel it's been it's been a little bit over a week since yeah, we've been uh-huh. together. Kind of uh, like what we did with Jared. Yeah. yeah same thing. So, w- what did you do over this past week? Oh, let's see. Uh, daddy came back into town. So, um, you like know, the same daddy that says you're, it makes the moist, or like your actual daddy. Actual Is it the same daddy. daddy. Actual daddy. Oh, okay. Daddy. No, uh, he came back into town. It was really good. Javier says thank you, daddy. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. That was you, huh? Yeah, that's me. Um, no, you know, just everything normal. Uh, just a lot of work coming in this week. Thank God. Um, went and tried fix, you know, over there off of a uh, clear fork. Oh yeah. 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 Really, it? really good stuff. Like, uh, we ordered, uh, lobster and something pot pie <laughs> lobster and something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Lobster and <laughs> crab. I don't know. Um, uh, they doubled eggs and in, either way, like, it's good. I need alcohol. Oh, hey, yeah, it's awesome. I'm gonna pour us. I need alcohol. Like I, I'm keep talking though. Okay. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, trying to plan out what we're gonna do for the next couple of weeks for the podcast. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much it. Tim, what's going on, man? So I, let me just let me just tell you, my my weekend was awesome. I installed a bidet toilet seat. Ooh, yeah, I'm nice. living that lush, um, luxurious lifestyle now. Okay. And uh, it was fantastic. Actually, there wasn't really a whole lot that I did. I did take a three day weekend. Um, uh, took a little Friday off, Saturday, Sunday. Um, it was nice. It was really nice. It just to good, man. just to kind of really chill good. out at the house again. So your weekend was a chill at home weekend yet again. But at least this time you had a fresh butt. Fresh butt. <laughs> fresh butt. It cuts down on your um on your toilet paper usage. I, I feel like I'm doing something uh, nice for the environment. As um, as Jesus said, yeah. one shall not live without a bidet. If you caught the uh, question, the first questions with Jesus, and so I, I went ahead and got one. Yeah, Jesus is a huge advocate for the bidet. Uh, I only tried one once in Italy, and oh, yes, uh, thank you. I I didn't hate it. You know, I, I thought it was a pretty good oh, little. Thi- Come on, man! Ah, oh, oh, here, Javier. Carry on, carry on. I guess it's your turn to ruin things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right in front of the fucking camera. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's cool, man. Um, I I feel like I had a nonstop busy weekend. Um, Friday night, I had the opportunity, the pleasure and opportunity to um, officiate a wedding for uh, Brittany Oviedo and Taylor Shipman. I guess now Brittany Shipman and Taylor Brittany Shipman. Brittany Shipman, congratulations. Yeah, so a shout out to them. If you haven't listened to Brittany, uh, Taylor uh, plays guitar for her, but uh, Brittany has some music. She plays a lot of covers, but also some country music of her own and whatnot, and really, really talented musician uh, down in Alvarado. So check them out. But the wedding was beautiful. We actually stayed in Alvarado. Um, we got a hotel. Tab and I got a hotel. That way we didn't have to drive back. And uh, as soon as I was all stressing out about the the wedding like I usually do, and as soon as it was over, I was just ready to drink. JD had a, a beer or two ready for me as soon as we got back. 
Uh, but it was nice. That was the the eighth wedding I've officiated. The eighth far. wedding. So yeah. congratulations, Chad. To your Yay! Hey, the kids are back. That's so loud. Why Why are the kids so close? It's your headphones. It's not loud on there. (laughs) Okay. Uh, And then, and then uh, Saturday, uh, we went to the deer lease and uh, pretended like we were hunting because we didn't see anything other than an armadillo and a couple squirrels. How dare you go try to kill? You know, helpless little animals. I know, and it's it's only bow season right now. So, I I mean, even if I saw something at a long range, it's very unlikely I was going to get it. So, Hmm. Um, so we cracked open a beer. Uh, shout out to Jay, a buddy of mine out in North Carolina, uh, who got us this beer. It's from Southern Range Brewing, um, and it's called Ice Cubes of Pimp. It's and, it, a- and, it, and it read Ice Cubes of Pimp from um, Today Was a Good Day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it uh, read Ice Cubes of Pimp. And uh, it's a hazy IPA, 6.9%. What do you think? I like it. I haven't uh, haven't tasted it yet. Let me get into that. I had to wait for the foam to go down because I poured it like a... Like a poor, like a. Oh, that's del- that's delicious. It's really good. I like it a lot. Cheers, up, Cheers buddy. Cheers. Oh, I mean, we already took a drink. Yeah, whatever. Drink whatever. Mm. whatever. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tastes like orange juice, man. Yeah, it kind of does. That you would, can, I mean, not really. Just that with champagne and just make a all-out beer mosa. Yeah, you could have this for breakfast, um, seven days a week. Yeah, like just wake up before you go to work, drink one of these. It's really good. Yeah, we got another one from Jay, too, that we'll drink from Wise Man. It's a mango tangerine milkshake IPA. Jay, that was really delicious, so, man. That was really Appreciate good. you, Jay. Thanks, man. He also listens. So uh, apologies for you listening and also appreciate the beer. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, also, real quick, uh, we just did a thing uh, this past week about our stickers uh, that I'm sure you saw on social media. Uh, we gave away a lucky few, a couple of uh, our custom stickers and some handwritten, you know, letters. It's not like a fully, dearest Gwendolyn, uh, I masturbated in the morrow. And, you know, you know, we're just no, like, no, no, no. It no. just says thank you, really. Yeah, thanks and a lot, and yeah. uh, we do appreciate everyone that reached out. Uh, we'll be sending those out this week. Uh, along with a you know a handwritten note and some stickers, so yeah, appreciate and uh, you. we really we love you guys. Like, I mean, uh, hang on to that handwritten note because it might it might be worth something. Maybe sometime. you never know. Yeah, maybe we might have like 180 million dollar Spotify contracts. N- not mm-hmm. from the podcast, probably because you you know went on some kind of spree and end up on the news. No, 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 of- no, no. It'll be because of his OnlyFans. <laughs> My OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. I hope y'all saw the picture that I posted. Now, I, I we talked about this last week with Courtney. Um, we're gonna try to do some doudoir photos yeah and uh, i do want to do something with a bear rug that'd be really cool and maybe sprawl out and you know do lunges over chad's face and then tim can feed me grapes or something so speaking of that have y'all checked out uh the cabin with burt kreicher yeah i love it it's not really, yet yeah, it's really oh, nice. dude, I saw it though. straight like straight up what he's describing yeah. it's like one of the first like episodes yeah nice yeah. Well, uh, it was at the first or second episode with the the ass uh, wax. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, you got to be comfortable with some uh, male nudity. You do see Burt Kreischer's uh, butt and the backside of his balls a couple times. Yeah, I, I only gone through the first four episodes, but it's, I think you know, that's where we're at too. Yeah, it's really. I mean, I like it. I mean, I, I like Burt Kreischer and his comedy, and some. It, it's not for everybody, but I mean, it's really good and hilarious. Yeah, it's good stuff. I love it. The the last episode you mentioned we had Courtney on. Yeah. Uh, loved having her on. That was a lot of fun. Are you sure we love having her on? Besides her trying to rip us apart, but look here we are. Fucking yeah. Yoko. We are better and stronger God because of her bullshit. Would you say that she was tearing us apart? She was tearing us apart, Lisa. That was. Are they going to say? Never mind. No, that was an insane yeah. song. Uh, but that was also y'all's first. No, yeah, that was your first time at the house. What did you think about the new house? I loved it, man. It's a good house. A lot of space. The color is great. The backdrop's nice. Um, the kitchen's beautiful. Uh, back the backyard is my favorite. I mean, I, I haven't seen it since this weekend since you had the little greenhouse put in. The TV yeah, and all that stuff. I saw you put the little pergola. Got it all situated. Mm-hmm. Watching uh, the watching the Cowboys game. Watching the terrible Cowboy game yeah. that we're we're not going to talk about. The only reason I'm glad I saw the game is because I beat Abby on my fantasy football team. Hey, suck it, Abby. Suck it. You're so loud. You're going to ruin the audio. You know what? It doesn't matter. Hey, but let me ask you this. How do you feel about being what we're, we're number one in our conference? We right? are, but our, our, <laughs> I think we have, I think we have the worst. I think the NFC East is the worst conference in the NFL. It is hands down. Absolutely. Everyone else only has one win and we've got two. And that's yeah. it. That's the only reason we're number like one. The, the, the Eagles have like a tie, a tie. It's one, awful. One, I, three and one. Or whatever. It's awful. I was, uh, I was listening to the Russ Martin show today and uh, they were talking. No, no, I take the back. I was listening to Binskin. 
Ben and Skin were talking about how they should tax the Cowboys, raise taxes. Like we should raise taxes and and just tax the Cowboys because they they keep sucking so much. And once they start doing good, we'll give them those tax breaks again. So maybe that'll once, give them some. Did you say sucking so good? They're, yeah, they're <laughs> sucking so good right now. <laughs> good lord, that Andy Dalton, he sucks so good. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on for a sec. <laughs> Hey, twenty dollars, twenty dollars, right? Twenty dollars is twenty dollars, baby. Yeah, I, I got the I got the TV yesterday, and I I put it in the back as soon as I got it, and we watched the game. It was so nice being able to sit in the backyard. Yeah, you know the pergola and the chairs and the fire pit. And, yeah, and the weather was nice out, dude. It was perfect. But it really I, was. So speaking of weather, though, whenever this drops, it's supposed to be fucking cold. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It is. It's supposed to get down there, huh? Get That's why down. I got the greenhouse. I don't want to kill all my plants. Yeah. It through COVID, I got really into gardening. Can I uh, plant weed in there? Uh, you cannot. No, <gasps> you he cannot. He but, did. He did not wink at me. But uh, I do have like some like mango and avocado trees Man. and like lemon stuff that I'm trying to grow up, and so I don't want them to die. You no, know what I, I mean? I, I get it. I know. I I honestly didn't until you got it. I was like, Chad would be the only one of our friends to have a greenhouse. He would be the one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a second one because really? it. Yeah, because I'm just worried about winter's coming. You mm-hmm. know, I don't want all my shit to die. Yeah, yeah. Fucking winter's coming. Totes, I know. totes brother. I got the TV from uh, uh, Amazon Prime Day. Did y'all get anything on Prime Day? That, that's actually where I got the bidet from. Oh, really? Yeah, and then um, one of those uh, little bug zapper things that you got that whenever you were living at the apartment. To oh, kill the, the catchy. Yeah. yeah. So I, I got a, I got legit. a bigger one of those. And, uh, dude, uh, we had a moth fly in there. It was pretty awesome to watch. <laughs> Just waiting for it to die. Yeah. Yeah, go, go. But, uh, no, I mean, it's, been, it, 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 yeah. So I got those couple, couple things. I got some, uh, some Christmas presents for, uh, for Jesse. So Blinded can't really tell what I got on there, but you know, they oh, sell okay. vibrators and sex toys. At they Amazon they do in different shapes and sizes. Mm-hmm. I got a question mark one boy. Howdy. Oh, this was fun. Yeah. Glad I brought that subject up. Cool. Hey, what'd you get Chad? Other than the TV. Anything else? Uh, I got I got a couple of things because I'm gonna make one of the rooms into our office slash our new Funky Panther studio, and so I got a few things from from uh, uh, for that. But that's that's really it. Nothing crazy. Yeah. So I, I'm actually pretty excited about the uh, the the, the like kind of I guess semi dedicated Funky Panther studio setup. Yeah. So we will get a little table set up. Have a nice actual live stream uh, once we get everything all the kinks worked out. Did you get a? Oh, I like kinks. Yeah. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Yeah, we don't we don't kink shame here. Mm-mm. Kink no, shaming is my kink all. shame. So yeah, um, one thing that I did try out over the weekend though was a um, a buffet, a Mediterranean buffet. I didn't go. We had it. We had it ordered in. Oh. Um, unfortunately, it's a uh, it's like a um, it's a chain, but it's the Um Pretty good place. It's over off of Camp Bowie. Okay, had a lamb shank. It was delicious. It was like twelve bucks. Yeah. Is it the spot over there by lamb. Tom Thumb? I don't know because I didn't go. We had oh, it. We had it delivered. Uh, Uber Eats. That's what we do a lot is Uber Eats. So that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty tasty. Um, so if you're gonna check it out, check it out this uh, this Mediterranean buffet. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm trying to think if if I had anything other. We, I mean, we got um, what was it? Buffalo Bros tonight for for dinner. Yeah, we I haven't had pizza. them in a long time. Good man, it's so yeah. good. It's the Bono, right? It's what John Bonnell, John yeah. Bonnell, John, John Bonnell's Bonnell's restaurant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But if if especially for game day, they've got like oh, yeah. really good deals for like wings and pizza and fries for like six or eight people. Like it's nuts. It's not too bad price, man. Yeah, that's good stuff. I, have you ever been to Fuego Burger? No, Tim, I have not. <laughs> you seem like you really thought about that. <laughs> I know I where have it, not. I know where it's at, but I have not. Yeah, yeah it's 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 right off of uh, what is that three seventy seven, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, um, close to where I'm at. And we went there once. Tab and I went when we first moved into the apartment a couple of years ago, and it was really good. And then I forgot about it. And then I went recently again. Damn, it was a good <sighs> burger. It was a really good burger. Hey, hey guys. Yeah, I got some bad news. Uh oh. We were just asked if we played the game of life. I don't have any beer. I don't have any beer. I okay. don't have any beer. Well, I will finish my beer. Um, cheers up for that. That was a uh, Long John who uh, called us out on that one. What a jackass! Who's Wiener Poopy? They said I'm the least favorite. Well, it doesn't matter because God probably, damn it, they'll probably all say that. I quit. Quit yelling! God, you're so loud. So I, I wish that we could talk about the game of life on here. You know what I mean? <laughs> because yeah. it's such a fun game for us to play. Listen here. If you want to know what the game of life is, just DM us and we will explain it to you. Um, 
those in the chat room, just hit us up if you want to actually know what we're talking about. Just, just, just know that one, it's a, it's a, a drinking game. Two, if you learn it, you've got to play it for the rest of your life. There's no getting out of it. We will know, and we will find you and hunt you down, and know that you are still playing the game of life. And whoever calls you out. You get called out as long as you're playing and there's a way out of it, but you've got to continue to play forever. And so, uh, hit us up <laughs> if you want to ruin your life and play a drinking game forever. But, uh, it really is a lot of fun. We've been playing for God knows how long. So appreciate that. John. So is it John, John, uh, John, John? Slong John is so, the name. So John, John. <laughs> so let me tell you, um, I, I got to thinking and, and Jesse and I've talked about this quite a bit. So we were talking about some underrated movies, okay, um, from from the two thousands, and I, I found uh, a a website that had fifty fifty three underrated underrated movies from from the early two thousands. Um, I picked my top ten, okay, and I'm just going to go through them real quick, and y'all tell me f- what y'all think. So, in order, number ten, thirteen going on thirty. Oh, that is a good movie. It's a good movie. Ruffalo, uh, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, yeah. They do the thriller dance. So there is a there is a theme here, it seems like, because I had liked a lot of Mark Ruffalo movies whenever uh, early two thousand. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, the Watchmen. That was a good movie. That wasn't so, an underrated movie. Everybody was anticipated. Yeah, I think it was anticipated, but I don't think it did really well in the box office. It was more kind of like a cult hit. Yeah. So they ranked uh, thirteen going on thirty at number forty six. Uh, Watchmen was ranked number forty nine, so that's mm-hmm. it's number number nine for mine. Yeah. Um, number eight, Ghost World. Never seen it. Oh, it's a great movie. Thor, uh, Thora Birch, right? Thora Birch, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Steve Buscemi. I forgot about her. Steve Buscemi uh, plays actually a main character, or a pretty main character for once. A pretty main character. Yeah. he's Well, no one ever said he was actually pretty. <laughs> um, they ranked that as 51. Uh, Blades of Glory. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty I, funny. I love Will Ferrell movies. That's uh, a good movie. Yeah. Will Ferrell, John Hedder. Unfortunately, John Hedder's kind of typecast. So is Will Ferrell, Ferrell really. Um, Mr. Feeney was in that movie. He really? was, yeah. yeah he uh-huh. was. I don't, he was I the judge. I can watch he this. was the judge. It's been so long. Amy Poehler, Will Arnett. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they had that ranked as number 41. Uh, the Prestige. That was very... That was a, that Chris was a great Nolan, movie. Yeah. Chris Nolan's uh-huh. great movies, yeah. And and, and we've talked about you Chris, know, Chris Nolan. Nolan yeah. His movies, you don't really understand them until you watch them, and Prestige is exactly that. Like You watch it, and you're just like, oh, my God. It's kind of like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. It's got a twist at the end. Yeah. Uh, so they had that ranked as number 37. Uh, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. <laughs> That one is awesome, dude. I love it. It is so good. Jesse won't watch it. She she thinks it. She doesn't like parody movies for one, and so she doesn't walk. So she won't watch it. But right, um, that was ranked number twenty five. Uh, a scanner darkly. Hold on, real quick. Yeah. On the last one, the walk hard. I completely. I, I've watched that movie so many times that I completely forgot about the original. The one, uh, the one with um, walk the line. Yeah. Walk, walk the, the line. line. Yeah, I forgot that that even existed. <laughs> and then, like uh, Friday night after the wedding, uh, Tab was up in the room, and I stayed out in the parking lot and had a couple of beers with JD. And I went upstairs, and she's watching it. And I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, that's not Dewey Cox. What's going on? I completely forgot that it was a completely separate movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, a Scanner Darkly. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, Keanu that was Reeves. A really cool movie. I liked how it was filmed because it was only it had that comic booky style um, filming, and I actually looked at how they do that, and it's so time. Didn't they overlap? Like they filmed it, and they overlap. Yeah, the- and you got to do all like the little shading and stuff, so you yeah. get like the like almost like pixelated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's another movie that was like that? Um, uh, tr- I don't know. That's Man, that's the only a, one that I can think there's of. There's a really uh, kind of dark one with Bruce Willis, and it was maybe it wasn't like a comic book, but it was all black and white. Oh, um, you're talking Sin City. Sin City, yeah, uh-huh. City, yeah. Right. yeah, that was pretty cool too. So they had ranked uh, Scanner Darkly number twenty one. Um, Zodiac. Have you ever seen that? Man, I haven't. Yeah, dude, I, I didn't. I didn't love it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I love those crime movies, unsolved crime stuff. But another Mark Ruffalo movie, uh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. They had that ranked number fifteen. Uh, Grindhouse. Yeah, did y'all see the the two movies, uh, Quentin Tarantino and um, Robert Rodriguez. I watched them Death years Proof. later. Yeah, Death yeah, Proof and um, in uh, Planet Terror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. Um, they had that ranked number fourteen. Uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is probably one of my favorites. That's a really good movie. And you know, I didn't hear, I didn't really know about it. I didn't, I don't remember seeing it in the theaters or anything like that. I just happened across it. I think uh, at a blockbuster or or, or something similar to that. Uh, but they had that ranked as number seven, and then I had a notable notable mention: uh, "Confessions of a Dangerous Mind." 
Yeah, that's on here. I got it here too. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So we had a little overlap there. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll talk about it. Later. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But th- th- so that's what I got. And and I'm gonna throw the links up for um for for these uh, the underrated movies at the 2000s. I had the 53, so y'all can look through it. It'll be on the uh, description. Yeah, that's really cool, Chad. What's what's uh, your uh, uh, when you mentioned that, I, I went and looked through that list as well, and I, I hit on a couple that you had. But I'm surprised you didn't mention the number 23. You didn't like that one? Uh, no. Jim Carrey? Yeah. This, yeah. I mean, it, I, so I don't, I honestly don't think I ever saw it. Really? Dude, that's a really, it, I mean, it was, you know, one of his, I think, first, like, serious films. I mean, really. Truman Show was kind of funny, but it was like a dramedy. Yeah, that's true. You think about it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But yeah, it was, uh, but it was almost, it was like kind of scary uh, drama. It wasn't funny at all. No, no, not at all. No, it wasn't like Cable Guy. That that one's a dark comedy. Cable Guy's a dark comedy, just kind of like right. I, you know, I like I like Cable Guy, uh, but yeah, I never saw tw- I never saw twenty three. It, so. it was crazy. It's really I mean, good. Literally crazy. Like I mean, you, you see, I'm sure of the people that have seen the movie that have gone all the way to the end. You kind of. So I, everyone's got their weird ticks, right? Yeah, everyone's yeah. got yeah. their thing that they they probably do and they don't tell anybody about, and they probably shouldn't. Maybe we should have an episode where we're like talking about ourselves. It's like we're crazy, <laughs> but like one of the things that I do that is crazy. Well, two things really. One is I won't realize that I'm doing it, and I'll be typing on a keyboard. Like I'll be watching a movie, and there'll be a word that comes up, and I'm like, uh, and I'll just start like typing it on the keyboard with my hands for whatever the reason. Fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what the hell is that? Like, and I don't have a keyboard. Obviously, I'm just typing it, but. With that being said, also like I'm typing on a uh, a keyboard, I I do four numbers uh, six five eight and four, and those equal twenty three. And I always thought it was bizarre because that movie was twenty three, and it was he was crazy and all into numbers and stuff. And I You're was like, crazy. "Hey, I haven't seen it yet." <laughs> I mean, the movie's called. It's been, it's been out for like twenty years. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking spoiler over here yeah well, okay so i've got to watch 23 i'm gonna watch it i'll watch it this weekend yeah do it man it's, it's good that's really my only one um from the, the 2000s right yeah, yeah like i mean it's 2000s, even, like, it, there's a there's a lot of them i mean it, some of them will pop into your head every now and then and it happens yeah, like yeah. with you and confessions of dangerous mind mine one of mine's mean girls oh uh, mean girls was a great movie but it was a great movie i don't think it was underrated i think it was one of those things that i mean it was it was I mean, everybody, it got everybody even more popular saw, yeah. as it got oh, older. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Even like with October, October 3rd, like uh, he asked me what day it was on October 3rd or something like that. Yeah. Um, I got, I, I asked a couple people, um, some underrated movies. Um, Anthony said cradle to the grave, which I think he was kidding. Cause it's a DMX and Steven Seagal <laughs> movie. Um, DJ said Euro trip, which was hilarious. A hilarious movie. Scotty doesn't yeah. know. Matt Damon, you know, yeah, yeah. saying that it was pretty. Oh hilarious. yeah, that that really was a good one. The girl next door, right? Was that no? Yeah, yeah. it was. It was good. I, I don't. I mean, I just don't remember enough about it. But I do. I mean, it was a good movie. Girls, a porn star. Yeah, guys I remember in high that school. much. It's really good. It's really, <laughs> um, That's it. I heart Huckabees. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Stranger than fiction. It's a really good one too. One of Will Ferrell's real uh, intimate non. Not too, not so comedic. Yeah. Roles. So Will Ferrell is typically typecasted, but he he broke that mold. I, I felt in that one. So. Yeah, I think so too. Um, not only with uh, that, with the other one, uh, Everything Must Go. No, oh, Everything Must Go was a great movie. Yeah, with uh, the, the, it's the notorious Big's son. Yeah, who plays the kid in the movie? Oh, I didn't realize it's that. A very good movie. Um, everyone always says Requiem for a Dream. Uh, I yeah. personally is n- have never seen it. It's a great, great, great movie. I don't think it's an underrated movie. Um, may, well, maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, Rock and Roller. It's a Guy Ritchie yeah. movie. Yeah. It's one of the you know the very good movie. Uh, it actually, I think that no, no, no. Lair Cake got uh, Tom Hardy the role in. I think it was Inception. You it know. Was, Dark Knight Rises. This would be a great episode for Chase to be on. It would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, RIP for Chase. Uh, and Sigurio told me The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I guess that's a really yeah. depressing ass movie that's underrated. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. No? No. What about Beer Fest? Beer Fest is, uh, oh. it, I mean, it's it, it falls in the category of one of the, I mean, it's like Super Troopers, same guys that made it. It's yeah, kind of the those, the yeah, broken but, broken lizard club. Broken whatever. lizard, yeah. They've got a, they've got a that TV. That was a good one though. Yeah, Beer Fest is great. Super yeah. Troopers is great. Super Troopers two, I, I liked it just because it was them. Them, yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. Um, they did uh, puddle cruisers, or puddle jumpers. I can't remember. That was one of the earlier ones. It was okay. Uh, Beer Fest was great, 
And then they've got a TV show on where they're instead of being police officers, they're firefighters. And I have not seen any of that yet. And and, and moving moving into a different subject here off of the <laughs> movies. <laughs> I feel like we spent way too much time on the Let's movies. Let's talk about Fort Worth shit, guys. No, no, no. Um, there's been an uprise of Karens. What? I think I can see one on the chat right now. There's been an up. <laughs> there have been an uprising of of the the quote unquote Karens or whatever, and and it made me think. And I just wanted to, I wanted to ask you, what is the male equivalent of a Karen? Like, what do you call him? Micah. Chad. Chad. Okay. <laughs> I'm, gl- oh, I, I'm glad you said that. So <laughs> I, I went to Reddit. I went to Reddit, and I, I was trying to figure out. It's like, what's the male? What's the male equivalent? So we have Kevin, Todd, Greg, Brad, Kyle, Carl, Dave, Chad. You're actually safe on this one. Yes. So according to horsecock in my anus <laughs> underscore two, because underscore one was taken already. <laughs> the two aren't equivalent. Uh, Karen is your average white woman. Chad is an alpha white male with balls the size of Arabia. Chad's female counterpart is Stacy. Okay. Okay. Um, so Chad, you're actually safe, but I think we might need to do like a, uh, I think uh, Brad is a good one. Yeah, yeah. Brad is a good one or Kyle. Yeah. Damn it. Kyle, Carl, uh, during walking dead's walking dead. Carl. I just, Carl. 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 Yeah. But I, I, I read that and I was just like, however, according to Reddit user horse cock in my anus so underscore why we, two, why are we looking up Karen's? I don't understand. So I recently saw a viral TikTok. Okay. Um, Tick tick tock tick tock. I think it's a tick tock tock. Um, of this lady, tick tock. <laughs> this lady was was screaming like she wanted to go into the store and she's just yelling at um the the worker there because yeah. like you can't come in here, you don't have a mask on. Right, we're still under mandated mask orders at a lot of stores, businesses across the nation here in Fort Worth. Yeah, and this lady was, was it? Uh, no, 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 we're not, no, 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 not anymore. We're not. Oh, okay, but this lady was just like straight up like calling the police like uh, doing the whole police thing because we had we had barbecue becky um yeah you know and, and and typically these these people had these they had this mindset of calling on 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 you know people of color and now it's just progressed like they're evolving and i think covid just kind of fed into it yeah given that privilege what it really desires additional privilege apparently notoriety yeah and like video on the internet to make them look like a real but I, I saw the, i saw an asian asian woman that would not um she kept holding the open the door open um button on the elevator because she didn't like this black guy being in the elevator with her and so karen spans it's no it's not one race it's not one color it, it spans that all the ignorant people but yeah. i was just trying to figure out what is the male equivalent and on unfortunately chad that your name popped right in my head originally yeah yeah i, know, I figured but uh well, it's I, either karen or ken right karen or ken ken would be a good one oh, yeah it's not bad it would be a good one yeah, yeah good one but i think we should do a final four bracket maybe post it up there like what is the what does the funky bunch want to call the male equivalent of karen's yeah really you yeah. know the dude that's throwing a fit that's standing there typical like he's in that shirt that maybe maybe just a little bit too small kind of a bigger belly about 40 years old 45 um and just you know Throwing a fit and maybe backing up the Karen, like he's he's getting in, in their face, and we want to we want to name them. We we need to get it out to like the the masses. I've definitely seen a couple of places where they're like refuse to wear masks because they've got a condition or whatever. That yeah, would be that would be a Ken type person you're talking about. I can see that. Yeah. yeah, I have a condition. It's uh, it's called I don't want to fucking wear a mask. <laughs> those people are those people are great. But you know, um, that's all I got on the on the on the Karen topic. You know, but. Whatever. I just, I really just wanted to read horse cock in my anus. So this all came up because you <laughs> wanted to say that. On yeah. Your- I just thought it was funny. It cool, just, cool, it just cool, made cool, me laugh cool, cool. so hard. So yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll throw it on our social media here pretty soon and do like a final four bracket. Like we did for our funky bunch out there for our fan names. And we'll see what you think on what a male equivalent to a caring is. And so looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, so on carrying on with a uh, Fort Worth business, our buddy Joe Marone. Um, did did we say anything about forward business? No, but it's forward. <laughs> Is business. it carrying on to <laughs> forward business? Carrying on to forward business. <laughs> carrying on to other things. Karen in and in on. In cl- oh, Karen, it's Karen in and on. on. Yeah, it's Speaking called. It's, about it's a Karen, segue. Let's Karen on to some let's forward. Let's Karen business. on to forward business, shall we? 
our buddy Joe Marone, uh, yeah, and Ben Ben Walter, Ben Walter, yep, they got a sandwich pop up coming up soon this weekend. They got um, reservations coming off on the twenty fifth, right? Yeah, they've got a website, and so as, when this airs, it would have already been available. You can go to their website yeah. and res- make reservations for sandwiches, and uh, give them the details. Yeah, so so uh, they'll they'll start taking pre orders on the twenty fifth, uh, and then you'll be able to start picking those up on the thirtieth at Panther Island Brewing. And man, they've got some really good. Uh, looking sandwiches um, and they've got one with like like an egg salad right and it's all what, what kind of sandwiches are they the sexy uh, sexy sandwiches uh, I can't say in Japanese well it's called it's Tsukushi Sando yeah so right? sexy sandwich but what what does it stem from again is it it's Japanese sandwiches yeah, Japanese, yeah. Japanese, Japanese sandwiches, sandwiches yeah. right kind of like, like what he was talking about uh, like a month ago when he was here right um, about how they have some in New York that's like Kobe beef hundred dollar sandwich right you thought it would be like, it's too extreme. I mean, bring it over here. They have stuff over in Dallas. Why not here? Yeah. Joe wanted to introduce it over here to the masses in Fort Worth. But uh, they, the, they've got the a different kind of bread in them, right? Yeah. And then, and they just look really pretty. If you go check them out on Instagram at uh, Tsukushi Sando, they've got a bunch of pictures of the different varieties that they've got. One is just straight up like, um, like Nutella and, and strawberries or something like that. I don't, it's like it's a dessert some, sandwich. It's like a dessert yeah, sandwich. Yeah. yeah. It's called the J Bay. That thing looked awesome. But then they have like three or four other sandwiches that just look really, really good. So looking forward to that. It's really, it's going to be exciting. We, we've been talking about this for a while and whenever he told us about it, I got pretty pumped. I mean, I, I've always wanted to have like an event like this that we go to, especially like the group. So we can try it out. Y'all better go. I'm going to be in Houston that week. Oh, really? Yeah. So y'all better make it out to Panther Island and get yourself some sandwiches. We're going to support our buddies here in Fort Worth and in the post front. about it. That's you right. know, but, and unfortunately, so those watching on Twitch, uh, those are hearing us, it's going to be passed, but we're actually going to uh, Cowtown. Yeah. Cowtown Brewery. On, Cowtown Brewery. On Friday, uh, Friday night, we're going to, we're going to check out uh, Squeezebox Bandits are playing. Uh, so local favorite, uh, we had Kevin on, Kevin's really involved with that's his cousin, uh, Abel, uh, his band, he's the front man for the band. Um, so we're going to go out there check them out, support them. Um, I've never actually never been to Cowtown Brewing, so it's really good. Yeah. The beer's um, great. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And, and uh, so this is going to play, I mean, this is already going to, it's going to be Saturday, right? Yeah. Friday, Friday. Um, yeah, yeah. so anybody watching a live stream, if you want to come meet us out at Cowtown Brewery, I'll buy you a beer. You know, I don't care. He uh, said he'll buy me one too, since I'll be there. I'm not going to buy you shit. Yeah, I know. If it, I'll, I'll buy you guys beer, let's chat, get some stickers, we'll talk to you and get some, I mean, we want to meet our fans. I mean, yeah, come on cool. out. Also, come watch a great band. It's really good guys. Another cool drop that's coming up here pretty soon. Uh, the episode, a couple episodes after Joe Marone was on, we had J-O-E on. That episode was straight fire. and we, <laughs> Oh, I fucks with that. <laughs> uh, on the 27th, so just a couple of days after this episode drops, he will be dropping his uh, new four-pack EP. It's going to have four songs on it. He does a collab with uh, a local um, producer here in Fort Worth. I think it's it's four fours, but I don't. I forgot his name uh, for, right off the top of my head. But really looking forward to that. It's actually dropping on National American Beer Day. And so he recommends grab yourself a four-pack and listen to the four-pack, which I, I think is a pretty cool Correct. Little little Coley's baby. Yeah, so man. that brings me, brings me to how are we doing these different events in, um, how Cheers. are we doing these different events in Fort Worth? Um, one thing that I found is that they've been doing drive-in concerts and, uh, I missed out Bert. We, we already talked about Bert Kreischer. Bert Kreischer was at uh, Cowtown drive-in yep. oh, last yeah. night. No, uh, uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday, night. Sunday night. Yeah. Sunday night. I'm surprised um, he didn't go. I was busy. So, they, you know, he's got this whole, um, he's doing this tour right now, hot summer nights drive in tour. So he's going around all the different drive ins across the United States, which I think is awesome. Um, so I started looking like, well, what else is coming up? So they've got, um, Nate, uh, Bargazzi, Nate Bargazzi. Oh, yeah. He uh, is hilarious. So he's going to be, that guy's great. October 23rd. He's going to be at Cowtown or, uh, Cowtown really? Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. so maybe, uh, funky Panther outing on that. When's also- the 23rd? I don't um, know. Uh, um, is it the same day as Squeezebox? <laughs> I think it is. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Kev. Whoopsie Kat. doopsie. <laughs> Kev's like, man, fuck you guys. We're striking oh. in. <laughs> no, we're um, going to go to Squeezebox. I, I didn't know if it was a Friday or Saturday night. I figured it was going to be Saturday night. He is, he is hilarious. His, his stand-up special on Netflix, and he's talking about like going to like this house with like a gator in it and just like this random-ass little... Uh, 
reptile play. I don't know. He, he's he's hilarious. But uh, monotone attitude. Major Laser is going to be. Uh, yes, I was about to say yeah. that Tuesday, right? October twenty seventh. Yeah, Tuesday. We so saw Major 7 Laser 10. before. We did. We saw Ma- we saw Diplo. We saw Major Laser. Yeah. Um, it was fun. We got really drunk. And, and and what I thought originally was like, oh, okay, they're just going to be shown on the big screen and all that stuff. Nope. It's going to be TV. No, they're actually there, and so yeah. you can get uh, you can buy front row front row seats. Uh, front row tickets or whatever, and you sit in your car and watch them or whatever. Um, and then they have them also also broadcasted on the screens too. Um, you might be able to tune in on their FM channel. Go over to uh, dude. Panther. You're not going to need that. Like people are going to be out on the car. Like like I'm sure Brian's going to go. Yeah. Well, he's saying just go near. Go near it. Go yeah. Near. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, you might damn, you, you might just be able to cruise over to you know Panther Panther Island Brewing. Oh, um, why do they do that? Dude, that's <laughs> good. Holy shit, that's smart. That's not a bad idea. Everybody but, go to Panther Island Brewery on the weekends too, man. They're open back up. Yeah. Right. 50, 25, 50 percent, 50 percent for um yeah for bars. Uh, I know Jesus posted it today. Something about Sweet Fang. I was like, dang, that sounds good. Right. Yeah, now. I know. Now that the weather's getting cooler man sweet fang would really top it off we do need to make it out there too i think i feel like maybe friday is just gonna be a long night are we gonna go a bunch of places Dude, friday night i gotta work on I'm gonna saturday go. morning so, so yes. i mean i'm going to like one place um and, and maybe multiple we'll, we'll see how the night goes so yes we're going to multiple places you know how we've been talking about monetizing our podcast for a while yeah, yeah. bud yeah we have chad you had a pretty good idea with patreon it's it's doing all right yeah it's doing okay javier only fans? I mean, people are enjoying my pictures. But it's, it's definitely not any money involved. Well, 100%, my idea was the best. No, it was not. You talked about eating too much food on Twitch and trying to get people to pay Mukbang. us. Mukbang. Yeah, that was awful. People like that, and they will pay us. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do that. We could do it on Twitch. We're, we're already on Twitch. We're not doing that. What, what are you, you going to talk to us about? Okay, well, here's the deal. I found a much easier, non-degrading way to monetize, which leads me to this episode's sponsor, which is Podcorn. What's the deal with Podcorn? Podcorn made it extremely easy to find our first sponsorship, which happens to be Podcorn. Um, The only difficult part was deciding who we wanted to go with in regards to the sponsorship. So is this like a Podcorn Inception type situation? Podcorn within Podcorn. It is, yeah. So if you don't know what Podcorn is, Podcorn is a marketplace that connects podcasters to multiple sponsorships, um, such as host red ads, interview segments, topical discussions, and more. So they have a mix of podcasters on there wanting to promote their own podcast, yeah. as well as some pretty big brands. Tell us more. I can take it from here. Uh, you know what's great about Podcorn is there's no middleman. Any podcast of any size, uh, you can go ahead and choose your opportunities from within that marketplace. Set your own rates and collaborate with brands that really fit your content directly. No exclusivities. You never give up any rights to your podcast, so we're good, right? Which is pretty awesome. The Marketplace mission is to really give podcasters transparency and full control of how and when we monetize, which shows the Podcorn is truly there to help you every step of the way. I really couldn't see it go any other way except for Podcorn. I, I, that really makes sense for us, right? Yeah, so we're going to drop the links in the description um, so you can check out the you know their website and and go browse their marketplace for all the podcasters actually listen to our podcast which surprisingly that's a big thing like podcasters helping other podcasters so content creators promoting other content creators which i had no idea until we started getting podcasting yeah it's funny you mentioned that because today on on our uh, instagram javier was messaging with some other fort worth podcasters yeah. which is really neat right like they might actually uh benefit from podcorn if they don't already have any kind of um right monetization yeah, yeah right but it is cool that you know you are exactly right with the fact that uh podcasters helping podcasters uh shout out to um it's probably you Shout out to Corks and Cowtown. Cow yeah, Corks and Cowtown. Um, and then uh, I guess Jerry Jones Hound Massacre, we're coming for you. No, don't shout out. I'm going to Jones- shout them out, Man. but we're coming for you. I'm time too. I'm brand time. New, yeah. Brand new in the brand market. New, yeah. You know? yeah, for sure. So a lot of really good Fort Worth podcasts. I hope that we make it on the list of top five, maybe top 10. Shit, top 20, I'll be cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's not even 20. <laughs> as long as we make that top list of however many there are, that would be fantastic. There can't be that many. Well, 
Yeah, you're right. But people keep popping up. Uh, it was funny. Course in Cowtown mentioned on on their Instagram. They're like, "Hey, shout out to three uh, different podcasts. One was us. One was it's, it's probably, probably you. One, one was, was a third that I had never heard before. Which yeah, absolutely, well, that was that was nice of them for this shout yeah, out. Really yeah. cool. And then they said, "Hey, who else is out there?" Which is pretty neat. Yeah. And then other podcasts in Fort Worth started like writing. Wait in. a second. Is that what got you the idea to ask who else is out there on our Instagram? No, that was from them. That was from them. Was he from was them. a repost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a repost. Yeah, I had yeah. no idea. You're so old and bad at social I media. I don't understand social media. What's the deal? What's going nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse was right. I love you, dude, but you're the worst. <laughs> so um, one of the other things we brought in was uh, the Silver Star Whiskey. So local uh, local distillery here in Fort Worth in the old Ranch Style Beans factory. Whoopsie. For <laughs> What are you doing? Are you like throwback to... Uh, Mortal Kombat. Whoopsie. Yeah. Who did that? What was that? That was Ghost? No, uh, it was what? Noob Sidebot. No, it was... Reptile. Reptile. I couldn't remember which one. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, so Silver Star, Silver Star Whiskey. They've got a Silver Star Whiskey they line. They got a bourbon. They've got a few other um, other drinks as well. Uh, so I got the whiskey. I couldn't find the bourbon. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see how that is. Thirty three bucks. Not too bad. So yeah, can't for really sure. complain. Um, I drink mine straight. Y'all are gonna drink yours with Coke, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess Low you're just more of a man than us. I, well, guess, no. I guess when you're more of a man, you just get more boring. Is that the deal? Yeah. As you get older and you become more of a man, you acquire tools um, oh, okay. and, and you and you grow a mustache and you just get boring. Okay. Are you making fun of me? No, he's making fun of himself, doof. Okay. Any other like local Fort Worth stuff? I, I did see the drive-in stuff. I know that there's been a couple other things. Um, there's a, a music festival coming in November here yeah. in Fort Worth. I think it's going to be like some some country type music and stuff like that, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I have to pull it up. I don't think it's not just country. I know one of the artists was country well. Blues. It was a uh, yeah country blues festival. Uh, Charlie Crockett. That's, that's so yeah, honestly, that's the like only reason Charlie why Crockett. I really want to go is Charlie Crockett. Yeah. Um, Oh, here it is. Maddie and Tay, Cody West, Bart Crow, Grady Spencer in the work, Samantha Fish, Casey James, Courtney Patton, and Jason Eady, Elena K, Kirk House, and more. Uh, and it's called the River and Blues Festival on November uh, 3rd and 4th. It's got pushed back. It was supposed to be in May, like May 15th yeah. and 16th. That'll be something cool. I mean, if if you are wanting to get out, surely there's a mass deal, and it looks like it's only limited to 40% at Panther Island Pavilion, but that might be fun, right? So I read up on how they're going to do it, and it's going to be kind of weird. So the spots are going to be like first come, first serve, and they're going to have these pods. So they're going to have these pods that are like going to hold no more than 10 people in each pod. Okay. But like they're that. not going to split their, they're not going to split their parties up. So there might be a pod pod that only has two people in there. That's good. There might be a pod that has 10 people. Um, so that's, they're trying to do the whole social distancing thing. That's cool. Yeah. I, we saw Charlie Crockett actually talking about Panther Island brewing. Was it the fourth year? I think it was the, maybe the yeah, four the year anniversary. Uh, yeah, he anniversary or something. Yeah, it was it was super cold. I remember the lines being super long. That place was packed, but every beer on tap was amazing. I just remember there was one. It was like a toasted. It was like a s'mores something. It was like toasted marshmallow, uh, scotch ale or something like that. It was so good. But yeah, Charlie Crockett played, and that was so much fun. And he did such a great. And before then, I had not really heard of him. And uh, man, he is he's very talented. Hey, so we have a correction. He said toasty. I thought I said toasty. You said whoopsie. Whoopsie. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Kev. You're a fool. God damn it. You ruin All right. things. So uh, let's try this Silver Star Whiskey, shall we? Today's we're episode just, sponsored we're by... We're just drinking it on the rocks. No. Cheers. Cheers. Christ, um, this is good. Is yeah, it? It's, okay. it's, it's pretty, Smooth. It's better than I anticipated, to be quite honest with you. I thought he's that I not, had some he's, before. He's kidding, Silver Star. It's good. No, it's, it's really delicious. good. I, like, I think that I had it early on when they first uh, opened... And my mom went, she's like, oh, there's a distillery in Fort Worth now. Wow. And she got me a bottle, and I, I didn't care for it, but it might have been something different. But this this is really So good. they've got, I know they got whiskey, and then they've got bourbon. But this and is the whiskey. That's the whiskey. And good Lord, that's smooth. Yeah, it's good. That is, um, so I, I, I pretty much drink Woodford's. That's what I my go-to. I've got a couple bottles at the house. Um, and I could easily replace Woodford's with this. Yeah. It's got that nice buttery, um, get the caramel notes, vanilla. Dude, it's great. Nice. Mm. Something I, I forgot to mention earlier when we were talking about what we've been up to this past week. Bro, I early voted yesterday. Ooh, 
my man. Yeah. Thanks for con- participating in our civil rights or our right as Americans to, you know, vote for our next commander in Cheeto. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I have not heard that. Commander in Cheeto? That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I posted it out there on the Instagram too. Yeah. Uh, How about the Lions? Go and vote. Uh, it, in Benbrook, where we live, uh, there's like one community center. We went during our lunch break yesterday. We got there like right at 1205 and we were in and out in like six minutes. And when we left, there was a little bit of a line, but even those people couldn't have waited more than 10 minutes. That's not bad. No. And that's the only place in Benbrook to vote early, apparently. And I, I heard that people were voting at like the Trinity River, TCC and stuff and going in and out and within just two or three minutes. A so, couple of campuses actually said that they were pretty slow, like you, like you said, in and out. Yeah, so we yeah. went uh, we went Friday afternoon-ish, like right around lunchtime uh, to the White Settlement. Uh, the White Settlement Public Library. That's the, That was one of the closest spots for us. Yeah. And we stood in line for probably like 45 minutes. No kidding. Mm-hmm. And what was great was back on Karen's, this old lady, we're standing in line. It's like wrapped outside the building. We're finally inside the building. And this lady comes like barreling up in her walker. And she's just like walking past everybody. Yeah. And someone finally said something. And she's like, oh, well, what's this room? And that's the exit. And, and we're like, <laughs> it's over there, lady. Ma'am, that's that's the exit. <laughs> so she just like barrels into the exit, right? <laughs> Get the... Ma'am, oh, it's over there, ma'am. <laughs> and uh, so she goes through the exit into like where the polling area are, and they, they let her sit down there. But she was expecting, she's like, well, I just want to vote. And, I want to uh, vote for the Cheeto in chief. Yeah, so she's like, I just want to vote. And they're like, so I guess they finally We situated. literally are all here to just vote. <laughs> Dude, okay, like, okay, real quick, let's get this yeah, out of the way. Yeah. Because, like, I don't care who you vote for, vote for either one. It's your civic duty to vote. Uh, if you want to complain, vote. If you don't complain, if you don't vote, I don't care who you vote for. Like, I mean, honestly, we have friends that are both on yeah. both sides. And I, I make fun of Trump every now and then and blah, blah. But, like, I mean, seriously, I mean, we're not the political type, but. But, like, yeah, you should just go. Like, you have no room to you have no room to complain if you don't go out and vote. It's so. our duty. It's everyone's duty to vote. So, yeah. I mean, you want. You want better roads? Vote. You want safer schools? Vote. You want cheaper taxes? Vote. Hey, Doesn't matter. And Kanye West, we trust. We do. And Jesus, Lamborghini Mercy, my chick, <laughs> she's so thirsty. I'm in my two seat Lambo with my girl. She trying to jerk. No, 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 I can't say that. No, well, you no. said worse already. Yeah, I have said worse. This episode. No, um, but yeah, seriously, like, go out there and do it. It's not gonna. One hour, two hour, people up north are waiting like 11 hours to yeah, go. Yeah, we've got it pretty good. And, and if you're not going at like one of the expected peak times, then you're probably not yeah. going to have a wait at all. But it's worth it. But don't be the old lady that just because you're old, think that you can jump the line. Because no, bitch, I was I was standing in line waiting to vote. So. Back in 19 diggity two, we voted for Calvin Coolidge and uh, he got us some Hoovervilles and we had butter. Had to put him in the roast. Up. You, you probably just need to stop because... I don't know where that's going. I don't know. Now. I've been drinking too much. <laughs> hey, what do y'all think about the new shirt? It's stupid. Hey, Segreo told me not to drink so much like I, I, on, on live. Hey, the new, what, what it's very nice, isn't it? I like the new shirt. I like the new shirt. Appreciate it. It's very nice. I love it. Speaking of which. Is the stream still showing up on every, there? Every, no, it's still okay, showing. Cool. Everyone, please. We have a store now. Um, what were we talking about? The new sh- the <laughs> fuck if I know. The new shirt, point. though. The new shirt is nice. Go I, to our website. Go to our Teespring site. Get a new shirt. But you can't get that shirt. That's a custom made. Yeah. This is custom played right here. Made. Custom made played. You did That's- it on purpose. Shut up. You did that on purpose. No, I did. Custom, custom what? Would you say? I said played. Fucking idiot. Yeah, that's a custom custom made shirt. Um, we might uh, make a few more of those to drop those as like special kind of deal. But um, yeah, you can go to our Teespring site. We'll drop the drop the link on that. You can get a uh, get a shirt on Teespring. Um, they're made to order. You have to just uh, it, it takes a little bit. So like we, Javier and I just ordered uh, ordered a shirt. And it's going to take about about a week or so. Um, but we, uh, we might be, uh, partnering, partnering up with uh, a local business, um, at some point, um, do kind of a pre-order on some, uh, some merch, uh, yeah. Chad, what was that place called? Yeah. Monica hit me up on Instagram and she works at printed thread here in Fort Worth and, uh, checked them out and they seem to do quite a bit of shirts for uh, different businesses and people around Fort Worth. So maybe we can, um, make a couple up and, and see how they turn out. 
Dude, we could vote on those too. We could put out like two or three different designs, see what people want, sell them, uh, and and ha- do some pre-orders and, and buy some of those shirts because, um, you know, we want people to wear our brand. Yeah, because we're not just a podcast; we're a brand. <laughs> we want people to know that we suck. Right. We want them to see the Funky Panther and be like, "What's that?" They Google us because hey, we're we're number one. If you Google the Funky Panther, it shows up first on Google, right? Grade Man. A suck. These guys are the worst. Maybe on the back of the shirt, we could, we should put like, we're not that bad, and then put our logo on the front, you know? Dude, we could do one that says mediocre at best. Dude. On the back, yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, what was the one that you had a shirt of that said something about funky or funk or something? Uh, can't fake the funk. Can't fake the can't funk. Can't fake the funk. It's good uh, stuff. Uh, let's talk about guilty pleasures. What do y'all do? You have any like guilty uh, fun pleasures? You know, nice like a change of subject. Nice saucy. Yes. Innuendo. Innuendo. Look, I've been wanting to tell you guys this. You jerk okay. off in candy. <laughs> I don't jerk off in candy. Again? You got some candy, everyone. I am a sucker for <laughs> suckers. A bath. <laughs> For a bath, I like baths. Like, okay, now you got to like en- en- enlighten me on your baths. I like, I dude, I just like to, I like to take my computer, set it up to where I can watch a movie, and just soak in a bathtub. You know, I don't think that baths are bad, but thinking that you like baths with that gross fucking mustache, <laughs> it just makes me feel sick. And the fact that I don't fit in most bathtubs, it just makes. <laughs> and so me it's like feel all bad. all knees out of the tub, it's like one gangly Chest tall son of a bitch. <laughs> I keep, I, I do bubble baths. And so I, I make sure I have like you know foam covering my crotch area. You know you got to find one of those Turkish baths here, like in Fort Worth. You got to find one. I want to go to one of those Russian baths where they beat you with the with the with the meat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the with the birch branches or whatever. The one where they jerk you. <laughs> no, Jeez, no, 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 no. This podcast has been brought to you by Hopes and Dreams. But I will tell you that there's twelve guilty pleasures. Tims and tubs. <laughs> twelve guilty pleasures that all men have, according to the taco. Hold on, wait. I got them. Masturbation, porn, pee, beef. Stop, 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 no? stop, stop. Are those actually stop. guilty though? Like, do you feel guilty afterwards? I mean, I feel guilty after. <laughs> Never mind. Like none of these, I like the ones they have on this list. I don't feel like you feel guilty. But Chad, what's your guilty part? Pleasure. I, 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 I just want to like. I'm just trying to tame you two because you're being disgusting with the Tim and Tub situation. Hi, New Way Zeus. And you, <laughs> I, I don't. I haven't even thought about it to be honest with you because I I haven't had the opportunity. Okay. Well, let me let me just give you some. Like let me give you bitch. what. So according to this website called the Talk O T A L K O Talk Talko. Uh, I yeah, think I can help with this old taco taco. This is back in, mm. now. This is this is oh years ago, back in, back in 2016. Okay. Yeah, uh, so that's five years, four years. So, ago. getting dressed up is a guilty pleasure all men like. Getting dressed, you mean like fancy? Like yeah, yeah. fancy up. time. Nah, like no. Nah, like, see, I don't like I didn't, powdering I didn't, your balls and perm pressed your pubes. Yes. Stop. Getting there. We've already had too many Javierisms on this episode. It's, it's like we've already re- we've reached our max. We've had too much alcohol. No, so we haven't had enough yet. Now, now you got to be normal. This pot task has been mocked to you by Silver Star whiskey. Silver Star whiskey. No, it hasn't. Sorry, Silver Star, because of Javier. He said Silver Star. By the way, <laughs> uh, we're still brought to you by Silver Star, so it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Silver Star. Uh, getting their getting their dance on. Uh, I do that. I do that. Is that a guilty pleasure though? Do you like yeah, it? it is because every time I'm like in the shower and I get out and I dry myself and I have music playing in the background. Oh, you're dancing. I'll be like dancing and shit. And I'm like this. Like no, I, so no, no, no. I imagine like you doing that. I'm sitting here thinking of like that creepy dude from, uh, uh, silence of the lambs. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me. <laughs> I feel like Javier dances like a mime and he just comes out of the bathtub and like starts doing this. Have you ever watched the movie? The you hall? got served. Hey, well. <laughs> uh, for for all y'all listening right now, you know, just comment what y'all think uh, Javier dance is like. Um, the love for cooking is that a guilty pleasure? I mean, I like cooking ramen, like ramen noodles. Yeah, but, okay, Chad, I, I cook pretty well. Yeah, I think, and I, I really enjoy it. But it, there's no guilt involved. I mean, it's just a. F- I mean, that's an actual craft. Okay, I've got one now. Okay. This this one's probably your secret love for girly music. You mean like Love Fool by the Cardigans? Dude, oh, yeah. Dude, I get down with some pop music. Me One of too. my first albums was like the Backstreet Boys or NSYNC. One really? of those. Yeah. Well, so I, I don't. I think I've told this story before. My probably. first concert was NSYNC. So. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a Natalie Haig answer. That's uh, that, that could be my guilty pleasure. Yeah. I mean, so I, I, am, I am more a fan of pop upbeat music that makes me happy than like rock anymore. I have to ask uh, you guys. See, I like, something. I like that. I like rock. So, I so know. when, when y'all were younger, like, you know, when you saw the music videos to like, bye, 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 or like, um, 
Did you did you ever want to like? Oh, I wish I knew how to do that dance. Like, I never, because I, I knew how to like do the, the Backstreet's back dance. I never or the thriller. I mean, it's like do the thriller, but you're like I never wish. Yeah. I never wished I could do that, but I I respected yeah. them for being able to do that. Um, <laughs> I remember I remember when we were younger. I was at uh, I think it was like a, a birthday party for Jessica Yarborough, and she she like had that song on, and all the girls were doing the dance. I was like, I could do that. And no, I, you <laughs> fucking didn't. <laughs> yes, no, did. you fucking did. Yeah, I did. We, we got to ask Judy to see if she has like video of that or something. I sure hope that Jessica she needs to ask her mom <laughs> if she has it. And I just see Jared like, what the? Fuck I was like, are I could I could totally do that, and I I just I don't remember. Perfectly, but I could just guarantee that I could just hit it out of the park on that one. Shopping till you drop. I mean, not really, not anymore. No, no, no. So my whole thing is like I like on Amazon. I've got Stitch Fix, Amazon. Yeah, I don't need to go and 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 shop till I drop anymore. You know, right? I never thought that as a guilty pleasure though. Like I just bought things that I like. You know, I'll get a good nice Lululemon pant or pant. maybe like a <laughs> a nice uh tee from i'm not wearing lulu right now <laughs> these are american eagle jeans <laughs> really comfortable by the way and stretchy um like jake jake crew i was gonna say j cole j crew like tees with the little pockets and you know i mean shoes obviously is my guilty yeah. pleasure so uh what about wearing a little bling Chad, you, you used to be a watch guy. Now you only wear one watch. I, I wear. I used to. Yeah, I still have a box full of watches that I wish that I wore. But like, it's hard to wear watches when you got the Apple Watch because it tracks everything and it has your yeah. notifications and everything. But yeah, I, I liked watches. Like I, I never really was in, except for the Puka Shell necklaces in high school. Yeah, I, never, I, ju- I just yeah. gotta. Say, I just gotta say, I love how Jessica did comments it on. <laughs> I know. I have to, got to, she's got to post uh, pictures. She knows exactly what I'm talking about, too. And that's I bet Chad's got like the spiky hair and the puka shell necklace. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds ultimate 2000s right there. My, my there. favorite picture of Chad, though, <laughs> is him holding his guitar. Oh, that, with that is, Beatles haircut. Oh, my, my gosh. Hair is so terrible. Jesus, oh, my God. Awful. Okay, so wearing a little bling. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got a bracelet, but that's, I don't. Like occasionally nah. put on like uh, a like a Joey Chandler friends yeah, bracelet. Dude, no, I don't have one of those. <laughs> but like I'll put a watch on or something like that. Oh my god! No, um, I, don't, I don't think I, I used to wear like gold necklaces with a cross. You know, no, like I think Jesus cross. I think this all fits for all of us. Okay, obsession with gadgets. Yeah, we all we all like that new technology. Yeah, true, dude. As soon as we bought the house. We hadn't even moved in yet, and I bought a Nest. I bought two Ring cameras. I like got all this shit. Like I can now the the outside TV has got the Fire Stick built into it. Yeah, and so I can just say turn on the patio and all the lights outside turn on. Dude, I Damn. love that shit. I love it. You got to show me all that. I want to put that here. Hell like, yeah! Like I love my Google. The only thing I have is like Google, and I'll say, Hey Google, put a, <laughs> put pornography on the TV. The TV turns on and kicks on his faves. <laughs> oh my god. Only fans pops up. <laughs> and it's just hey, him. Hey. That picture that he posted today. <laughs> God, that was awful. Uh, so number five on this list was pampering yourself. Um, so like going, I guess. So getting, getting your, in the tub. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my thing. I feel um, like, I mean, like that. But getting like your uh, your, your nails your done. nails done. Or pedicure. Pedi- pedicure. Yeah. Pedi- Manny. Um, I think. Never, uh, I've never done the Manny. I talked about this today. Um, it's probably used recent episode with Val of Val's yeah, Cheesecakes. Yeah. Uh-huh. He, how he was saying, did you see the post? Like. He's like, like once a week, I'll have my favorite meal. Once a week, I'll sleep eight hours a day. Um, once a month, I'll get a great haircut. And he just like, you have to treat yourself take to these care things. Yourself. You have to take care of yourself. It is important. I know that like Tab will, will get her, you know, petty, pedicure or whatever every couple of months. And I try to go now over the past few times, every other time she goes. That way, it's not like I'm doing it too much, yeah. but I still get to go and like you know feel you feel nice. They yeah. give you like a, a glass of wine. You're hanging out. Well, bad. even whenever I was younger, like me and Anthony, me and Anthony made it a deal to get our our nails done. Like not done, but like get what manicures. Color did you get? They nude, nude, obviously <laughs> nude. But like whenever they rub your hands and arms, and they, it's so well, they do cool. all that. It's, it's, so it's nice, fucking. yeah. Or going to get a massage, like an, a legit massage. Not the rub and tug massage, but a legit massage. Hmm. Um, those are always nice. They are. Um, here's another one. Everything that has to do with cars, that falls kind of on me. Yeah. Like, I, I love all things automotive. In fact, I saw, like, a really badass Ferrari the other day. And and so that just that just captivates me. But I wouldn't say it's a guilty pleasure. Um, I like my car. 
I yeah, like, I your, like your you know, yeah. making, you know, yeah. building up the, the Japanese land cruiser that yeah. I got. It's, it's fun, but I, I'm not good at it. Right. <laughs> like, I don't know as much of the inner workings of the engine and shit as I wish I would, but I like that when they look cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, online games, video game addiction. Dude, I, not I really not anymore. Not anymore. We used to yeah. play Call of Duty online all the time. That was as the, soon as COVID hit, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean even to... before then too. But uh, they had the the new shit they had going on. We played for like a month, and then yeah. after that, it kind of died out. So my ADD kicks in, and I can, I play like one or two rounds. I'm like, okay, I got to stop because yeah. I've got to do something else, or I get really pissed off at the game and just like fuck this. I suck at this. I'm not playing, and I just turn it off. I feel the same way I do about video games. As I do sleep. I feel like it becomes a waste of time. Like you you catch yourself like if you get really good sleep it's like nine or ten hours or whatever you're like fuck what am i doing with my life i could have been up and doing all these different things and like had fun what the fuck is wrong with you i hate sleep i think it's just the biggest waste of time if i I could get away with only getting two hours of sleep a day i would be in the best place i think everyone with video games though like i feel like you you get started and all of a sudden it's like midnight you're four hours later into a video game like what am i doing with my life yeah you're having a good time that's why i don't like that's why i don't like playing sleeping I love it. That's my that's my favorite thing. I love sleep. the sleep. I love it. Guys, <laughs> let me give you a review of sleep. It's the new thing. Everyone's going to go try it. Please Lucky do Panther it. brought to you by sleeping. <laughs> sleep pods. Okay, I can't recover sleep from that. Sleep pods. Now with built-in sleep. The fuck, man? <laughs> I fucking love the sleep. I mean, fuck, me too. I love taking naps whenever I come home oh, from work. Oh, yeah, naps like, are the best. Naps. Like, sleeping Afternoon is like naps. getting naked when you go take a shit. Like, it feels good. Like, you got to get naked to go sleep because you get the cold air and it feels really good on don't, your body. Don't get me started on naps. Like, you never wake up from a nap feel feeling good about I do. Yourself. 25 25 minutes. You always wake up like 25 minutes. Used. That's it. No, 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 no. Three hours. That's not fucking. That's a, that's sleep. <laughs> not a fucking nap. What are you talking about? That's what Jesse says. Dude, She's I'm like, you didn't take a, this. you didn't take a nap. You took a sleep. I gotta, that's what I, I gotta did. stand up. I, I can't. I can't sit anymore. Okay. Like, Every time I've woken up from a nap, I always feel very confused. And like, whenever it says like seven o'clock, I'm like, did I sleep through the entire night? It's like, whenever seven you o'clock in the morning, whenever you take a nap and you wake up, your butthole hurts, and it, you know. You don't know why. Has that ever only, happened to you? <laughs> only when I napped at Javier's house. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we napped in the hotel when we were on Colorado. <laughs> why are you standing over me? <laughs> <laughs> why are you breathing so heavy? Oh, God. So number two on this list was our love for whiskey. Hey, whiskey. Hey. hey. Like, uh, uh, cheers here, up, boys. Cheers to that. Like, uh, I started, I, I, I drank whiskey, like whiskey Coke, you know, and shit when we were growing up. But, like, I started drinking more whiskey after Mad Men came out. Oh, yeah. And Don Draper always drank old fashions. So I'm like, you got obsessed with old fashions. For, I, yeah. no, I'm still obsessed right. with old fashions. I think the best one we ever had. Okay. What is the bur- be- the best old fashioned you've ever had? Who's who's made your best old fashioned? Um, a place or a person? Place. A place. Okay. Um, that you can remember. Thompson's for me. Yeah, Thompson's makes a really good one. Yeah, they do. They're they absolutely old fashioned. They do. It's great. Um, what's what's that place uh, uh, on the tr- the traffic circle over there off like Seventh? Um, the uh, shit, the seafood place. Um, bar, uh, Eddie V's. Eddie, Eddie V's. Yeah, there. Eddie V's makes a smoked um, Ooh, that was really old good. fashioned, and man, it was it was on point. It was probably one of the better ones I've had. Um, I would say that that one. Okay, I have two. I have two places. My first place. Okay, well, I'll talk about my second place. Stop, stop touching it. Got to bring the mic up. God you damn just it. Just sit down. I don't want to though. Sorry, everyone. The wonders of Hollywood. Okay. Well, first, who of, of that you know, an actual person, makes your your the best? Uh, not not even a person. Fashions. I'm not even. I don't know the. I want to know a person that makes really good old fashioned. Oh my god. Um. Okay. So. My second favorite old fashioned was made at the um, Bar Taco. Bar Taco. Bar Taco over there um, by HG Supply. What? What's going on? Oh, you got to be in the chat. Yeah. Tim called me a psychopath, so that's nice. (laughs) Continue on. (laughs) Yeah, because Soto said, uh, you know who wants two hours of sleep? Psychopaths. (laughs) Dude, I said no sleep. Oh, Uh, two two hours. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I thought you were talking about naps. Never mind. Yep. Um, Are you done dicking with that or what? No, shut up. You're ruining the whole thing. It is already ruined. (laughs) What are you doing? Um, It's like, it's ruined as soon as I started talking. (laughs) My second second favorite is Bar Taco. And I'll tell you why. Because the guy like took like his time. He like, I was was, uh, with Diana and we were like, he's making the drink. 
and he lit the <laughs> lit the wood. He lit the piece of. You're right, Jesse. Javier is pulling a Tim and just drawing the shit. God out. damn it! Okay. Anyways, Bar Taco second. First one when we were in London uh, at the Chad rest the Chad bar. Oh, Chad Street. Chad yeah. Street. Uh, St. Chad's Place. Saint, that's it. Yeah, yeah. St. Chad's Place. And the guy was like. He muddled everything. It, it took him like 15 minutes. Yes. And I walked over and we were like, where are our fucking drinks? We were pissed. We were, yeah, I was like, we didn't know that a good drink took some time. Yeah, no. you're expecting American yeah. quick bar. Uh, yeah. But the guy, I walked up, Jad's like, where are our fucking drinks? I'm like, I'll go check. And the guy's like, I know you're, and he wasn't even, he wasn't even British. Yeah. He was like from Spain or something or Portugal. He's like, I know you want your drink, but give it time. It's going to be the best old fashioned dude. You've I ever forgot had. about that. Very fucking good. Yes. Hole in the wall, by the way, that place, we, we, we couldn't find it. Like you had, we had to go into an alley well, to go find this bar. Yeah. Well, I, I showed up there. Remember? Because we, we were going to try to go and I hopped on the wrong train yes. and y'all all went on a different train. Yeah. And so I was drunk and lost in London by Didn't myself. Didn't you get off and then we get off the train and then who knows? You I got off know. the train and we were still on and we're like, where the fuck is Chad? And Chad's we, out there and he's like, oh. We made a decision to go inside every pub we walked past and at least grab a pint of beer. And so there are more pubs in London than I think we expected. Yeah. And so we were like super drunk by like 5 p.m. and walking around London. And I jumped on a train. I knew where I was going because we, we that's our destination. Yeah. But I got there like 30 minutes before y'all did. And I, I don't think I had service. And so I just waited. And eventually we found each other. That was kind of a cluster. But it was fun. And you're right. That was a really good drink. <laughs> yeah. It was the best old fashioned I ever had. I was really hoping you were going to say me. I, I mean, I, I thought I made a pretty good goal. You do. But come on. You know, we need to do that whole let's make cocktails again. Let's make cocktails. That, like that was a fun night. <clears throat> yeah. We. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, so here. Give me the bottle. So our final, our final guilty pleasure. Sex. Their shoe investment. <laughs> Seriously? Number one guilty pleasure. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised that wasn't like number one for you. I was waiting for that. I one, think honestly. this is obvious guilty pleasure a man has. Shoes are one thing a guy doesn't have a problem investing in. Whether it's a pair of Versace loafers or slick set of Jordans men love to accessorize with shoes. A guy's first set of Nikes made them feel faster than the speed of light. He is absolutely right. And their first set of designer dress shoes convinced them that they could take over the world. Yep. That's so That's not so true. I remember my first Nikes being bright blue. They're like electric blue, and I thought I was the shit. My first pair of Jordans uh, it was, I think it was fifth grade. No, it was like second or third grade. And we had to go back to school shopping. Back to school shopping. My dad's like, all right, let's go. And they had this Dallas Cowboy jersey. My dad's like, uh, well, I was like, I want the jersey. My dad's like, pick the shoes or pick the jersey. Pick the jersey. We, we've already said this story. We have? Yeah, you've already done this entire God story. God damn it. I picked it. I got both. You yeah, got the because shoes, you, you got picked the shoes. Yeah, we know. Uh, so Soto said that he would have sworn that uh, your guilty pleasure was going to be, no, your guilty pleasure was going to be that was straight fire. Because you say it so goddamn much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that, that is that is actually, look, that is one of my guilty pleasures. Yeah. And I'm not going to apologize for it. Not this time. I think off of that list, uh, run through them one more time. I'm going to pick two. There was two on there. I think it was number three and like number six. Okay. Uh, Just real quick. Hang on. Let me get back to the top. Uh, getting dressed up. No. Uh, getting their dance on. Yes. Okay. Uh, love for cooking. No. Secret love for girly music. Yeah. yeah. What a girl wants. What? Uh, shopping till you drop. No. Wearing a little bling. Okay, you're done. It was just those two. The okay. dancing and the, the pop music, I think, are my two deals. Yeah, so pop music. Dancing to pop music is really the Pop music's the not my thing, except for <laughs> I love Madonna. Like, Vogue? Vogue Madonna? Dude, old like school music Madonna. Or yes. just you're in love with Madonna? Oh, both. <laughs> but old school Madonna, yeah. I, I That's one you of my- fucks. You fucks I, with it. I fucks with that. Straight fire. <laughs> that's that's that that would be one of my like guilty pop. Like there you I go, would say eighties so like, eighties pop music. Eighties pop music is probably come a guilty pleasure. Come on me, come, come on to me, come. I don't that's, think that's right. <laughs> Here we come, come. On. But I'm talking like I'm talking like Boy George, Car, like Karma Chameleon. Like stuff like that. I dude. thought that song was, was that come, a, come a come a come a come a chameleon. The karma was, chameleon is what it's called. That song was about come. Come on, come on, come on, come on, karma chameleon. Come on, 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 come on
more than you have in the past like 10 episodes. You've been doing so well. I was so proud of you. And then here you go and just blow the whole thing out of the water. This episode's been brought to you by Shane. (laughs) His guilty pleasure is ruining everything. Sorry. (laughs) But, you know, with that said. No! God, why why are you so loud? I don't know. So if you're listening to us on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, whatever it may be, we appreciate you. If you're watching us on Twitch, we also appreciate you. Thank you so much. Once again, we can we are on Twitch uh, live about every Tuesday, sometimes on Sundays, but usually on Tuesday nights. Uh, we're going to try to continue to make that a little bit better for you. We know the feed is not the best, but we're getting there. I'll um, upgrade my internet, I swear to God. If uh, you follow us on any of our podcasts or listen to us, please make sure you like, subscribe, leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Follow us on any social media at The Funky Panther. And again, thank you so very much. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. And I'm Tim. And we are The The Funky Funky Panther! Check out your local podcasts, everybody, and your local restaurants, too. Fort Worth for Life. Fort Worth for Life. Funky Town, baby. Let's get it.